All right, let's continue our epic swim all the way, all the way out here. We're we're looking for maybe an entrance to this building, actually. Yeah, we should be looking over here for maybe a way to get up onto the land. I think I see, I see a possibility over here. This looked promising, but as it turns out, maybe not. Here we go. This looks good. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess we need to start over here, right? And then we should be able to make our way to where the objective is. We need a trident of Nazjan. I'm assuming we're going to have to fight somebody for this. Do I want to start fighting right here? Don't think so. No, I think we want to head up this big staircase. That seems like the more likely place to look. We can probably definitely mount up here. We are going to fight at least one side of this. And I'm pretty sure somebody just killed him. Yep, they they definitely, <laughs> most certainly, and then they said that because WoW players are awesome sometimes, guys. Can we, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. And now we just sit back and wait, and we enjoy the dulcet tones of the ambient music, ambient noise. Probably turn that up a little bit. And guys, let me know about the sound settings. Recently, I basically changed my entire audio setup, got a new microphone, moved from a Blue Yeti USB mic over to a Shure SM7B microphone which requires me to have an audio gate and it also kind of required me to start using OBS to publish my to record my videos rather still using shotcut to do the final publishing so yeah let me know if anything needs to be turned up or down if I am too quiet if the game sounds are too quiet ideally I want you guys to be able to hear the music and stuff hear the ambience hear some of the sound effects uh, without them being overpowering so, yeah, let me know. And now I guess we're just going back to turn this into the Naga lady. Oh, wait, did we not get it? Oh, we just didn't pick it up because we're awesome like that. <laughs> Will Robert forget to pick up the item? Only like 70% of the time. If we're really lucky, I remember before we run away. So I, I guess I didn't have to do an epic swim. I could have come over here and uh, ran probably for a little bit on the mount. Maybe we'll try to take that kind of track on our way out here. Although it looks like this kind of like just terminates here, doesn't it? Oh no, it goes up. How cool is this? And then I suppose we can go down and we can take that door down there. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen the inside of this place. We've seen these shrines before though, haven't we? Yes, we have. There's one in Black Fathom Deeps.
Uh, there's another one on an island off the coast of Desolus. Definitely seen those before. Yes, dismount us in the water. Should I fight these guys? I feel like these guys are just going to keep annoying the crap out of me. And I might as well just fight them, right? They're not just going to let me go easily. There's no reason not to fight them. How are we going to avoid the cluster F that is this place? Maybe we can just sneak in and turn this in really quick. That might be all we could do to avoid the respawns. Yeah, we're not even going to be able to avoid the respawns. Uh, Raj Najan was the emperor of the Riplash when Levithor was in prison. Ashara herself blessed his trident so it would slay the beast, slay the beast should ever it escape. Now you wield it, human. As much as it disgusts me, I will have my revenge on these barbaric giant men. Take the trident to the depths beneath Riplash. You will find Leverash below an iceberg closest to northern Riplash. Drive the trident into his flesh and slay him. Return to whoever sent you when you're done. I wish to see no more of you. Oh, okay. Um, so back out to the ruins again. Yeah, I really... I really envy Death Knights for their ability to walk on the, the water, as well as Shamans for their ability to walk on the water. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I envy them because it must make quests like this a lot easier. Maybe the fastest way... Uh, well, for this one, it looks like it's an island between the two. Yeah, we don't- maybe we don't have to go back into the interiors. Maybe we just need to stay in the water this time. Last time we should have came through the entrance, used the ramp, ran across, and did it that way. That's what we should have done last time. This time we actually have to go under the- under the glacier. And, uh, we're probably gonna have to find a group for this one as well, I would assume. With it being a named- a named enemy. We'll see if there's anyone around. Yeah, I already see... I see people. I see a death knight. I see people running away. I see a dead level ash. I I'm hoping this works. We also don't have infinite breath, so we ought to come back up. Oh, we can benefit from Path of Frost because we are in their party. That's actually really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, he's up. Uh, we need to use the spear. Okay. And then we just DPS him down, I guess. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Now, this guy's going to leave us behind. But if he didn't leave us behind... Oh, nice, nice. We got it. Now, if he's a polite Death Knight, he won't leave the party until we're back at shore. <laughs> Yeah, 
he's gonna outrange us. Oh no, <laughs> our path of frost. It's gone. It was good while it lasted though. Oh yeah, it was foggy there. Then you come out and everything is normal colored and you're like, whoa. Your eyes actually need a minute to adjust. My people's spirits can rest in peace. You've helped me honor my father. Perhaps I will one day be as strong as you are. I doubt it, but you can try, man. Let's see, do we want these? Uh, yeah. We, they don't have intellect, but they have haste. Let, let's go as full into the Northrend gear as we can. I, I want to look the part. Okay, what next? We, we, never, we never figured this out. Maybe we'll come back to it. For now, let's head back to town and see about grabbing some of these quests that popped up while we were away. There's a quest right here, word of a street. What can I do for you? There's a girl in the inn that's asking about you. Her name is Larissa. Liriessa? Larissa? Um, excuse me, why are we being zapped? I don't think she knows you, but she said she needed your help. She sounded really desperate. See you later. We're still just getting zapped by something, which is kind of weird. It's one part weird, two parts obnoxious. And the gnome out here has a distress call. Oh good, your rambles, right? We need your help up north at Fizz Crank Airstrip, like yesterday. The M Magnetar and the Scourge and the pumping station. It's madness, I tell you, madness. You've got you've got to head up there and talk to old man full throttle ASAP. Okay, yeah, it's gnome stuff. I'm not as interested in gnome stuff. Um, so let's go inside the inn and see what that's about. Oh, it's more gnome stuff. I told them all that I remember. Why don't they believe me? I was gathering herbs by the rift. They came from nowhere. Dark wizards with magical beasts. I was surrounded. A huge magical cube appeared above me. It opened up and pulled me inside. I swear it's true. She got abducted by mages. Just as it began to close around me, my rescuers swooped in on the backs of drakes. It was amazing. My captors scattered and I was able to escape. I never thank them for saving me. Please, Paladin, if you see them, pass on my gratitude. Go to Amber Ledge North and thank those there for rescuing her. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, who are you? Hey there. Thank you for coming to see me. I didn't know who else to contact. Thessarian, my brother. Oh yeah, Th Thessarian's a death knight. We saw him in the, 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 the death knight story. I recently received word from William Allerton, my family friend, that my brother enlisted here in Valiant's Keep on the same day he did. Thing is, my brother's been dead for years. I sold everything I owned to come looking for Thessarian, only to be stonewalled by the local bureaucracy. I've even been threatened with arrest if I keep snooping around. I need someone in the good graces of the higher-ups, someone like you, if you can help me. I heard that William's stationed at the Farshire Mine. Safe travels. 
So she's looking for her brother, which wouldn't be a problem normally, but her brother is in fact a death knight, so he is dead. He did die. And then he lived again. And I don't think she knows that part. And canonically, neither do we. Okay, so let's head out to Farshire here first and see what's going on out here in this direction. It says we can, yeah, there's a little tunnel here that leads out, it said. There we go, not as impressive as the main entrance, but it works. What can I do for you? This guy is like an original Colteran model you human. Around. You need something? All right. A little weird looking, but I'll take it. You're here to help? You're just in time then. There's scourge everywhere, Paladin. We've organized the farmers and miners into a militia, but this just won't cut it. The one detachment of troops that Valiants keep sent is defending the mine. We haven't heard from them in days. If you really wish to help us, why don't you go to the mine and see what's going on? Maybe we can get them to send us some reinforcements. I bet they're all dead. Yeah. I bet they're all dead. Let's go see what's happening over at the mine. Do we get to reclaim this town at some point? We should. I guess it's ringing the half hour mark. The sun is also getting low. It looks like it's going to set any time now. And I really don't know what this zone is going to look like in the night. Because I don't know if I've ever played here in the dark. Uh, okay, so when they said in the mine, they really meant like down, down inside the mine. You have to go into the mine. Now the mine is full of undead. Scourge footmen and such. Let's come in here. And let's take care of everybody we've aggroed up until this point. And then more will spawn in. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Lovely, lovely times. Your stomach feels uneasy as you approach the grain. The smell is nearly unbearable. The sacks of grain emanate foul stench you've come to associate with the plague. This probably explains what happened to the footman defending the mine. Gruesome. It's hard to read and almost die at the same time and, like, not wanting to really die. Like, I mean, let's take the quest. And let's move a little bit, shall we? The Sarian, my brother. The corpse matches the description that Larissa gave you of William Allerton. Oddly enough, there are no bite or claw marks on him. William's neck has been cut by a sharp object. Further inspection reveals a single clue to bring to Larissa. An enlistment card bearing the name of William Allerton. Okay. The plot thickens, as they say. So do the scourge of footmen infesting the mine. I'd love to loot these guys, but I feel like... I feel like we're gonna get stuck in combat with everything. That's what I feel like. Maybe we're good for now to loot. This guy needs to just chill and leave the defense of this place to somebody else so that we can turn in our quest. He needs to chill. He's no good to us fighting people. He's no good to us. Greetings. 
Those poor lads, they never had a chance. This sure sounds like an inside job. Probably the cult of the damned infiltrator. Curse those madmen. Well, Rambles, with the last of our military in Farshire dead or worse, we can do but one thing. Fight these scourge ourselves. We have deployed militia in what remains of Farshire. Without your help, they've but little hope of winning. Go and lend them a hand. Me and my lads will watch this path. Be careful. Oh, you have other quests. Good day to you. Perfect. I heard what you told Gerald, and I don't like it one bit. If cultists managed to poison the grain in the mines in their foul plague, they could have easily done the same with the grain outside. We don't have time to sort the good grain from the bad. We must act quickly and burn it all. This is like what Arthas did, but instead of like burning people, she wants to burn the grain. So See you later. it makes Hello. it's a little bit better. Need something? And reference material. I was in charge of the harvest golems, an important job until the scourge destroyed most of our farmlands. I have an idea that would make the golems useful again, however. I think I can rewire the harvest collector so they'll give us a hand in fighting the scourge. I'm not an expert at this just yet, so I'm going to need my manual. The problem is, I left it at the workshop. Which happens to be that burning building next to the mine. Think you could go salvage it? Have a good one. I think so. We could probably do that. I think we should go. I think we should go talk to Larissa about what we found out um, when we found Allerton's corpse. Let's go. Let's go talk to her. You spoke to William? Do you think William's death was a, a random killing by the Scourge? Things sure seem fishy. Something's up. We must find Thessarion. Uh, what do we want here? Haste rating and unused attack power? Could be okay. Poor Mr. Allerton might yet help us find my brother. Lysera unveils a voluminous book, not unlike an army recruitment ledger. I borrowed it, okay? Let's see, does that enlistment card have a date? William saw Thessarion at the enlistment line. Their entries must be near each other. Here it is. He was assigned to Unit S. All the other military units are named after Alliance towns. Who's in the unit? Where are they deployed? We need rumors. See if the innkeepers heard anything. Have a good one. Unit S. What can I do for you? Can't say I can help you, friend, but I might know someone who can. The military was all that old man Colburn had. After he retired, he still clung to it like a lifeline. He knows the name of every general, unit, brigade, detachment, you name it. He's the man you need. Problem is, his mind is scarred. He won't talk to anyone unless he gets his cool tirus wine. Takes him back to the times he was a marine. I haven't received a shipment in months. The last merchant ship out of Kaltiris sunk northeast of here. See if you can salvage a bottle and bring it to Colburn. Safe travels. Okay, let's let's do this. I know we have other stuff going on. But we can focus this for a minute. We're gonna swim out into the water once more. Well, I, I don't see anything. 
Oh, here it is. Robert, you just have to look around a little bit, man. You didn't even look. I'm only assuming there's going to be a way for us to get out of the water over at the docks. I, I hope so. It looks like maybe over here we can get out, or maybe here at the boat. day to you the old man looks up at you with a blank look on his face hmm not too bitter not too dry it's just like the old days with the lads in the barracks unit s unit s hmm don't make any sense it ought to be named after a town darkshire was sent to dragon blight where the goldshire boys were sent to the fjord where did i hear oh yes the deserter there's a turntail in the barracks prison got thrown in not too long ago kept saying that s stood for suicide Look for the deserter, he might have some information for you. See you later. What do you want? I have enough problems as it is. Listen, Rambles, no offense, but the operation they put the Sarian in charge of was pure suicide. A handful of our men were to launch an attack at, on the biggest Scourge presence in the area. Call me crazy, but storming a Scourge ziggurat outside a plagued Nerubian city with a dozen men ain't my idea of fun. If you're still interested in finding the Sarian, we were supposed to arrange for a passage east with a Tuscar. A Tuscar by the name of Ateca... In, Kaka in Kaskala to the northeast. Good luck with your fool's errand. Have a good one. All right, he's very optimistic. Glad he's kind of in prison. I mean, they didn't lock the door. There is no door. The, there are no doors in World of Warcraft. If you haven't noticed that, then yeah, I'm sorry. The only doors there are are the kinds of doors where you, you can't pass beyond them. No, they don't open, you know. So, we have the the kill quest outside, we have Farshire Grain burned, and we have to get the guy's manual from his house. Let's go work on that stuff.
let's go inside here and oh look at that so we can't all do those those are one use only whoever gets them first burns them let's go inside the building and see if we can find the manual at least we don't have to fight over this kind of oh no it is already being used so <laughs> okay we got it it's all good so far we haven't had too many problems completing any of the quests this kill quest one might be the hardest, but every time I look around, there's a bunch of undead up, so. Alright, that's all the grain we need. Now we're just looking for zombies. I wonder if they're ringing that when like a certain event happens, because it's not related to time. It doesn't seem to be related to time. I love the ones that you can watch crawling out of the ground. It makes it a lot easier to see them spawning and tag, and tag them. That being said, we are all done with these guys and we can get out of here and leave them for others. You've communicated with the Scourge in the only language they understand, violence and death. Unfortunately, they just keep coming. Uh, we will take the boots. And we're going to equip them. The Scourge just keep coming, but we can't give up. Listen, inside the mine, there's a cart with the last of the ore the Alliance is going to see on this side of the continent for a long time. The problem is the cart release is locked. When the military went in there, Captain Jacobs commandeered all the important equipment, including the cart release key. The plague that affected the soldiers in the mine must also have affected Jacobs. Get the key from him and we can salvage the ore. Have a good one. Okay. How are you? That might help. Thank you. I would hate to see the survivors of the attack on Farsire stumble upon plagued grain. Yeah, that would be bad. We can do... We can definitely... Uh, let's do the ring. Crit strike, haste, and attack power. Yes, please. Safe travels. Uh, we're gonna put that over this ring. And yeah, that's a pretty big improvement, I would say. And we can give you the manual. What can I do for you? Excellent. The information I need should be in here. Okay, I've got it. The rewiring is a little complicated, but nothing a clever paladin like you can't handle. Take my tools and put some of the harvest collectors out of commission. Once they're down, use the tools to plug all the red wires into the blue sockets. That'll make them go into self-defense mode. Hurry. Before long, there won't be anything left to save. Safe travels. So we have to defeat them and then reprogram them? 
Is that how I'm reading that? Yeah, it seems like we have to defeat them first. Oh, I like the look of these guys. I like the, the color swap they did. So we defeat them. Oh, we, we don't defeat them. Oh, no, we do. Okay, I just don't know how to click. Apparently, clicking is hard. We've attracted some attention, yeah, of the random undead in the area. We actually got on the aggro chain of one of our harvest golems, which is funny. Uh, I'm trying to reprogram here, buddy. Yeah, this is uh, going to get a little bit obnoxious, actually. Let's try to repair. We, we, for some reason, can't repair this one. Or maybe I'm just not clicked on it. There we go. I need to try to get these. There we go. How many do we have to do? It's not, it's not showing me. Either way, we, we kind of need to move out of that area. It's... It's not exactly seeming very safe. And these guys are all tagged for us, which is a little scary. And since we're in combat, it won't let me do anything with the quest log. We need one more. Yeah, they keep just running in here, which is weird. And now they've completely stopped respawning. Oh, here's one. Just took it a minute. Let's pull him back over here a little ways. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's five out of five reprogrammed. We are still in combat with anything that it fights now in its entire life, so we have to run over here on foot. Good day to you. Nice job. I finally feel useful again, and that's saying something. I, I don't know what it's saying. Are you not useful? You seem pretty useful. Uh, we don't really... Well, we could take the crit over the haste, probably. But we're losing strength, and I, I don't want to lose strength. I don't know, so we'll, we'll take them. See you around. And we will just compare what they look like. They look the same. So, there's that. Okay, so we need to go back and get the key and release the minecart. This guy wants us to go rescue the ore. It's the last shipment that we're going to see on this side of the world in a long time, he says. So we better go get this done.
Oh, good, we got credit for him releasing the cart. I was wondering how that was going to happen. Like, if he releases the cart, do I have to wait for the cart to come back? <laughs> how terrible would that be? That would not be good. If we had to wait for the cart to, to come back. Uh, that being said, we should be good to drop group. Everything is done right now. I thank you, Rambles. This ore will be of vital importance to the Alliance in the times to come. I'd like to think we've made a difference today. That's it then. With the last of the ore you salvaged, we now have enough to send to Valiant's Keep. If Farshire is wiped off the face of Azeroth, then at least let us be remembered as the first ones to defend our land and the last ones to give up. Take this ore to Hilda Stoneforge. She is going to do something. I'll tell you after I punch this scavenger in the face. Great. Way to ruin it, buddy. That's it. Later. Just take it to Hilda. Okay. Perfect. What's on your mind? What do you have there? Ore from Farshire? We weren't scheduled for a shipment just yet. Is something wrong? Farshire's overrun and all that Gerald can think of is to get me my ore shipment? I swear, that man has as much heart as any of our soldiers on the front lines. We cannot let the civilians lose their lands if they're willing to fight for them. We might not have the troops to spare, but we can send them weapons. These were earmarked for new recruits, but I'll be able to cover those with the ore you've brought me. Send word to Geralt that weapons are on the way. Oh, okay, so they're, they're going to actually arm these guys. That could be a good idea. They seem to be defending this entire side of the city. Yeah, they're like... There's no guards out here, so... I don't know. This dude is single-handedly killing most of them by himself. Greetings. Hilda's sending us weapons? That's excellent news. I was about ready to tell the lads to pack things up. Farsire has a fighting chance now. That's all we could have asked for, and you've made it possible. All we need now is a railing point. I'll have my men deliver the weapons to our town hall. Go and ring the town hall bell so that any survivors know to rally there. It's time to show the Scourge what we're made of. Okay, now we know what all the bell ringing's been about. I wonder if this area is going to phase. Are we going to enter a new phase here? And, like, things are going to change? That would be really amazing. I've been waiting to see that happen for a long time. So, yeah, that would be really, really cool if we can get some phasing going on here. Uh, let's see what happens. I think we have to go... You'd think we'd have to go to the... T oh, here we go. It's right here. It feels good to ring the bell. Yep, it feels good. To the town hall, everyone. We've brought you weapons. Arm yourselves and beat back the scourge. That's right. Looking good, girls. Looking good. All right, I guess that's it. The area did not seem to phase, sadly enough. I, I think we're still... Oh, wait. Uh, we still have Scourge spawning in. Yeah, still this, mostly the same stuff happening out here. Okay. How can I help you? Thanks once again for aiding us. The people of Farshire will always remember you. Ooh, we get a blue item for this. Let's take the hit, expertise, and attack power. For the alliance. That's actually amazing. Okay, all that stuff is done. We never did figure that out. We have breadcrumbs to come over here. And we have a breadcrumb to go over um, to the Amber Ledge. Is that where this is? What do we want to do first? I feel like since there's a flight point there, I kind of want to do this. This is 71 and 72. 
Everything over here is 71. Let's let's head over to the level 71 stuff, right? Mission statement, also level 72. Yeah, I think I want to head over here to the to the Amber Ledge. I'm pretty sure that's an area where both factions quest, so I, I think I know some of the quests that are going on there. I also realize, like, I mean, we could be we could be queued up. Uh, for the Nexus. Utgard Keep. We could we can maybe queue up for Utgard Keep. Oh boy. I, I'm not I, I don't think we could tank it as red spec. I, I don't know if I'd want to tank it as red spec. But I would DPS an Utgard Keep run. I'm assuming we might get two people that are already in the Howling Fjord uh, to summon us over there. That could be cool. I'm not really in a big rush to do the dungeons, but yeah, we are level 70. We, we could put ourselves in the listing for both of them. I don't know about Azul, Azul Nurub yet. Seems like we'd be a little bit low level for that. First things first, let's grab the flight point. King's honor, friend. Monitoring the rift, cleft cliff anomaly. Greetings, human, said no human to any other human in the history of humans. I am Garen of Dalaran. No, not long ago, the rift was a peaceful place, geothermally speaking at least. Recently, though, earthquakes have occurred with alarming frequency and the scars in the earth have appeared, exposing unique energy fields and chaotic power. My mission here is to chart and monitor these anomalies. My instruments indicate that another has appeared on the cliff face to the southwest. Take this device with you and use it when you locate the disruption. Alright. Need help? Nick of time, you can tell your friend that her rescue was our pleasure and our duty as well. Her encounter was but a small piece in what I believe to be a large puzzle. Dalaran is sparing no effort in solving this mystery, and to be honest, we could use a bit of assistance. I am Donathan, a loyal representative of Dalaran. Forgive my abruptness, but we find ourselves in the midst of a crisis. Mages all across Azeroth are being abducted, and I have been authorized to conscript anyone able to assist in the unraveling of this mystery. The camp just south of ours is where our investigation begins. I call upon you to rescue one of the imprisoned mages held there. You must obtain a key from one of the mage hunters and use it to open the arcane prison. Go with honor, friend. All right, kind of remember these. Let's head down here. The anomaly is down this way. We'll have to do some swimming to get out there. Swimming has been a theme. Uh, there's probably just a safe way to run down the ledge. Alright, he dropped the prison key. Let's open this up. Hmm, interesting. And I think we have to get him back. Thank you, human. Without your help, I would have become one of them. Oh. Okay, so we don't have to help him back. That's good. Let's come get the anomaly reading. We need to run further down the coast here.
And it looks like we can get out right over there, so that's really helpful. Be with you. Fascinating, this is the largest disruption yet. Though the worst has yet to come, I fear. Do you feel that? That was just an aftershock. You should have been here a few minutes ago. I'm afraid I must call upon your services again. My instruments indicate that there is an immense disruption just west of here, far beneath the water's surface. Light bless you. Alright, we will check it out. King's honor, friend. Um hmm? oh. Because we're in a dungeon queue, guys, I have to remember. You've done well, Rambles. The Kirin Tor graciously accept the assistance you have rendered. Know that any service you provide us will not go unrewarded. Please accept this humble offering as a token of Dalaran's appreciation. We have a situation, though. I've just learned that one of our Archmages on route from Dalaran has gone missing. Naturally, we suspect the Mage Hunters are behind her disappearance. Time is clearly of the essence. We must know what has become of Lady Evanor at once if we are to have any hope of rescuing her. Take this device, return to Barrel Point, and use it on a Barrel Sorcerer when he is near death. It should bind him long enough for you to bring him here for questioning. Go with honor, friend. It would be really cool to do an Utgard Keep run. Uh, or this could be a Nexus run. This could be anything. Uh, I'm assuming... Assuming Utgard, because we have everybody in the Howling Fjord. Could be a chance for us to get flight points over there as well. Uh, if we do get this run together, I will probably make that its own its own video. I think that would be really cool. So we'll probably count on doing that. And yeah, this is still opening night for me, so usually I have like pretty pretty clear intros and outros for episodes. For this night, I'm going to be playing as much as I can and just kind of chopping the videos up into digestible segments, uh, which YouTube likes be better, better than like three hour segments. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I'll just be chopping it up. So the episode lengths might be weird. The, the intros and outros might be non-existent and it'll be a little, probably a little bit jarring unless you're just kind of letting them run through. And I apologize for that, but it'll only be for this first night, then we can, we'll have a more traditional format probably going forward after that. I need to bind these guys, not just murder them outright. So, that's a thing. Now we need to run him back. The only problem is... We're going to be attracting some attention while we're running them back. But I think we can do this. I think we can do this before we catch a summon.
Greetings. Excellent work. Listen closely, for there is not a moment to spare. Your prisoner is being prepared for interrogation here in our tower. In the event that he is less than forthcoming, your assistance may be required. Make your way up there where he is being detained and tell Librarian Normanist, or Normantis that I have sent you to assist him. You. I think we are about to torture this guy, but I think I'm going to take a little break here, maybe get a cup of coffee before this dungeon happens. And yeah, I'm going to keep playing tonight, so I'm going to keep going as long as I can, so maybe till 11 or 12. Hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are enjoying Wrath as well if you are playing it. Thank you for being here and for the support. I really do appreciate it. It's because of you guys that I get to be here doing this. Without you, there would be a lot less of me. So thank you so much. And we will see you soon in Utgard Keep. Bye for now.